In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate you how to use mini OLED I2C display using the C programming language on Linux and Raspberry Pi single board computers. For the demonstration, I'll be using the latest and greatest addition to the Raspberry Pi family, the Raspberry Pi 5 single board computer. At the end of the video, you know the exact steps how to achieve all this using an open source OLED Linux user space driver written in the C programming language, which is available in GitHub. The exact type of this display is SSD1306 and it is connected to the Raspberry Pi using the popular I2C bus. Although you can directly connect the mini OLED display to the Raspberry Pi, in this case I'm using an add-on board that I have designed with KiCad. The name of the board is Anavi Info Microhead. You can either buy it from a distributor or if you want you can export the Gerber files and make your own printed circuit boards. If you're interested in this opportunity, visit our sponsor PCBWay.com. PCBWay offers high quality printed circuit board manufacturing services as well as assembly, so you can have the whole product with a single order. As you can see, ordering is straightforward and super easy. Visit PCBWay.com for more details. Let's start with the wiring. The mandatory required hardware components for this example are Raspberry Pi single board computer and a mini OLED I2C display. Any model and version of the Raspberry Pi single board computers is suitable for this demonstration. In the particular case, I'm using Raspberry Pi 5. I'm adding Anavi Info Microhead to the 40 pin header of Raspberry Pi 5 because this way it's more convenient for me. However, you can do exactly the same without this add on board and directly wire the mini OLED display using jumper wires to the I2C pins of Raspberry Pi. I have prepared a micro SD card with Raspberry Pi OS. This is a Linux distribution for Raspberry Pi OS single board computers. From my personal computer, I'm logging remotely to the Raspberry Pi 5 using SSH. Raspberry Pi OS features a command line tool called Raspi Config. From there, I can go to the interface options and enable I2C. After that, Using another command line tool called I2C Detect, I can scan the I2C bus and I can see that the mini OLED display has been actually detected from the software side with address 3C. I'm running Raspberry Pi OS, which is a Linux distribution, on my Raspberry Pi 5. I have booted it from a micro SD card. Now, I need to download the source code from GitHub of the open source Linux driver for the uh, mini I2C display that I'm going to use. This driver is written in the C programming language and works directly from user space. There are two steps that I have to perform. First to download it and then to build it using a make file. OLED SSD1306 Linux driver is an open source project written in the C programming language which is available at GitHub under the very permissive open source license MIT. I found this project recently and I love it. I even made a GitHub pull request with a small improvement. As I mentioned previously, I have logged in over SSH to the Raspberry Pi 5 and I'm going to execute the git clone command to download the source code from GitHub to the Raspberry Pi 5. Before recording the video, I installed all dependencies required for building source code directly on the Raspberry Pi 5. So now all I need to do is to type in make to build this Linux user space driver for the SSD1306 mini OLED display connected over I2C. The end result is a command line binary application. I can run it to show text on the display and it's very straightforward and easy to use it. Here is a short demonstration and the exact commands are available in the description of the video. Here is what is happening on the Raspberry Pi and the mini OLED display. This is a yellow-blue monochrome display. The first line is yellow, the rest of the lines are blue. Here I wrote a single line, so I am seeing Hello World written in yellow. Please note that this type of displays are available in different sizes and different colors. Feel free to adjust these steps for the needs of your particular I2C SSD 1306 display. It is time for the final demonstration in this video. Let's use the whole size of the display and show several lines of text.
I'm initializing the mini OLED SSD1306 display from a command line tool just like I did in the previous example, however this time I'm adding a few additional commands to write a few additional lines. As I have already mentioned on a few occasions previously in the video, this is a yellow blue mini display, it's a monochrome display which means that I cannot change the colors, however the first line is yellow and the rest of the lines are in blue. The exact commands to run this demonstration or the previous demo are available at the description of the video. Thank you very much for watching this video tutorial. In future, I'm planning to do a similar video for controlling the same mini OLED display over I2C, but this time using the Python programming language. If you like this type of content, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Stay tuned for new videos.